All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I have had a revelation. I've been getting so many of your uh, craft files that I realized that this series might last for months. Maybe not a month, but a good long time. Now, some of you have been sending me five or six or... One of you have been sending me about 10 different crafts, and I, you know who you are. We're going to try to do one per subscriber. So if you have any more crafts, go ahead and dish them out now. This is going to be the last week. I'm going to try to get them as, as many up there as possible. We're already experiencing some lag with the station. Try to make your uh, craft parts low. So this is... Look at all this. From, this is... <laughs> This is a lot. We're going to go ahead and take a look at all of these today and try to maybe put some up there. Oh, shit. One of you did throw out the idea to build multiple space stations, and we might have to do that if it starts getting really, really laggy. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of these uh, and see if there's any subscription uh, subscriptions, descriptions underneath the name. And, um, yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead and hop right in there. Let's see. What's this first one? Okay, now I'm not going to be able to get everybody's name on there who built them but you know who you know who you are this is your creation because i can't remember every single name i just kind of went on facebook and twitter and everything to just start downloading everything a fully assemblable okay a fully assemblable flight ready landing shuttle with one crew capacity when the designer was approached after construction and asked why he simply replied why not 87 parts all right that's gonna be another thing try to keep your parts under 40 under 40 but we're gonna put this up here anyway because you know he didn't know it's okay. But that looks pretty cool. I can already see some issues though with this top piece right here and these wingy bits. You have to remember that nothing can touch each other. Nothing can touch the sides of the walls of the craft either if they're if it's in the cargo bay. Make sure that nothing is touching. Because if I start going in there and pulling parts off and suddenly because of it, because of the fact that it's touching, it could throw the craft off because of the fact that two parts are clipped into each other and then, then suddenly when I undock they're not clipped into each other anymore. They're right as separate parts and they start pushing everything around. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's recipe for disaster. Let's see what the next one is. Research and comms hub. No description. I think this is from Jolly Roger. I, for, I forget. Jolly Roger did give me something uh, very similar. That looks like it might fit. Looks so good. I don't know about these little things though. These little antennas might be, might be pushing into the sides of the uh, walls of the craft. But looks pretty good. Uh, escape pod and science bay. That's a neat little escape pod and science bay. That might work. Part counts uh, kind of high, but well, you know. All right. Anything? Okay. Every space station needs an escape pod and science bay. Silly face. Escape minor habitation. So one panels. Two bay doors. Wanted a cupola at one end, but lack the space. That's pretty cool. Food unit one, or fo uh, food, food. All right, this might not fit in there, but it's possible it will. We'll go ahead and check that out. That's interesting. Nice. Okay. And it's, oh, yes, there is. I hope I'm saying that right. Kitchen heavy, in heavy industries. Fixed orbital ore distillation unit, a.k.a. food unit. Oh, that, that's very, very clever, sir. You're very, very clever. Yes, you are. Is an ore processing module for space stations. It is recommended to have an engineer operating the ISRU. Please refrain from... If I can just move this a little down. Okay, please refrain from launching crude. Crude due to high Gs from payload vehicle. Really? I didn't think there was a bunch of high Gs from the SSRT, but... Vehicle. Additional ra uh, radi radiators may be required. Intended for use with KHIs. Foam. Oh, foam unit. Very clever. Uh, foam unit does not produce foam. <laughs> uh, hunter missile. Okay, there's nothing in there. No warheads whatsoever. But I guess if you slam into uh, some a structure with these fairings, might do some damage. Doesn't look like there's any control whatsoever on them. Oh, okay, there's an engine hidden inside there. So this is like a short range. Very, very short range missile. No reason why I say no controls because normally what you want to do is you want to put RCS around here so that you can use the I, J, K, and L keys put to um, keep the keep the warhead on target as you're traveling to it. Important stats per hunter missile per part count six. Delta V is, oh, that's pretty good. Mass, 1,000 kilograms. Crap, see, I got to click this and use the arrow keys. I wonder, wonder why they took the... The command for the mouse, you could use, a long time ago, you could use the mouse wheel to scroll down. Good old KSP. Ah, uh, sad, sad, sad. How to use, undock, rendezvous with target at 100 MS. If missile survives impact, go in for another strike, and, or return to base. Reaction wheels can be added to improve maneuverability. Fairing can be lengthened to improve armor penetration. Lab and cupola module. So, 
we got uh, the antennas on the cupola are optional. Tweak it as you want. Okay, well, the antennas, huh? The antennas. Oh, well, that's not that bad. We might be able to put that in there. These lights might run into the side of the, the side of the cargo bay, though, so that might be a problem. But uh, okay, cool, and very low part count. See, that's these are the kind of modules I like. Light pole cafe. All right, this is this is this is a lot going on here. What's going on here? Obviously, this part isn't going into space. Oh, look at that! <laughs> that's actually pretty clever. I like that. I like that a lot. That's actually really clever. Got like a little trash can there. A little comes together and makes it kind of look kind of fashionable. Who was it that made this? Ah, damn! I forgot your name, buddy. But um, that's actually really clever. I like that a lot. Look, it's got like a little pad there. Maybe. It, some cups by using the uh, little thrusters that is that is brilliant you know what i might use this technique i'm sorry i, I might i might steal your technique <laughs> for duna one if uh if i'm able to work on it again poor duna one i hope i don't have to cancel duna one i really want to finish duna one so badly but anyway yeah that's actually really cool what's the park count look 55 Ooh. little fly huh where'd it go no. Oh, there it is. Okay. That is, uh, that is, like, huh. That is, that is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. Oh, shit. I don't see any way to put it in, um, there's no place to, I guess we could use this part to put it in the cargo bay. That's gonna be a problem. This creation of mine is capable of returning to Kerbin and landing safely on the runway. It is easy to fly. It, it, is easy, blah, 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 it is easy to fly. It was. It has two internal engines and fuel tanks to get it out of orbit. Uh, I how you enjoy it. I how you enjoy it. I'm trying to figure out what you were trying to say there. I hope. Ah, that's what you wanted to say. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. That's okay. Typos happen. Don't worry about it. Processing plant. Uh, does your space station need fuel in a jiffy? Does your space station constantly run out of monopropellant? Then you need or or sir oh shit don't hit me on the head I'm horrible with innovators horizon orbital fuck I gotta click this horizon orbital or processing module patent pending ah oh, oh there's more built with only 28 parts this wonder of discount Soviet technology comes with six ore tanks a small ore refinery three large whoa three large okay three large I think you ran out of maybe space to I don't know why it's not it's not showing it for me, buddy, but I apologize. Three large tanks, I think you said, or uh, monopropellant tanks, because I see three of them, right? Okay, fingers are getting numb. Ooh, crap, there's a whole lot of them. Another escape pod, it's way down here. I don't know if this is going to be able to fit in the cargo hold, but it might. That would be my guess. It plummets back to curb and nose first, and then these deploy to help slow it down, I think. Is that what you're trying to go for? Anything? Press 1 to separate the body and pods from the team, from the beam. Where am I? I forgot where I am. Okay. Oh, it's so cute and tiny. Wow, it's pretty empty. It's got one generator in there. SMP Mini Tow RCS. So you're trying to replace my tow vehicles, huh? Huh? What are you trying to say? Very little maneuvering capability that I see. Where is the, wait, okay. See, the problem with this is it doesn't have any reaction wheels. So if I start using the RCS, it's gonna make this whole thing wobble back and forth because of the fact that most of your weight's down here and the RCS control is up here. So you probably had a version of it where there was more RCS down here, which I think you may have done and accidentally gave me this one because of the fact that uh, the since the weight's right here and the RCS is way up here, I'm thinking you had another pair down here. That would make more sense. Uh, why are there wings? I mean, sure, the cool factor. We definitely want cool factor, but... Uh, the wings are probably not necessary in space. A bit larger tow RCS with backup systems. It can pull a larger load. Uh, press one, fire up forward thrusters and turn off rear. Two, fire rear thrusters and turn off forward. Three, kill all thrusters. Four, use grab tool. Space station parts. Hmm. Okay. No, you don't. You live on the roof. I ain't coming here no. whenever I feel like it. No, you live on the roof. Go up there. You cannot ban me from this room. I will ban you from this room if it so pleases me. Well, I'm the queen, so it don't matter what you do. I'm sorry, your majesty. <laughs> May I go to the stable and grab some horses? 
for tonight's burner. Yes, you may. Now snap to it. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where was I? Did I already talk about this? I don't think I did. Got some problems already. They're clipping into each other. I don't know if this is gonna work. I have some problems trying to take this off of the main body. Power and short range comms, fuel and and a scepter. Greetings from Denmark. Oh, Denmark! Denmark, awesome. What the SSRT station happering? Well, that's not gonna fit in the co What the? Okay, that's a lot of work. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. Of okay, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but that's going to be a lot of work, and I am too lazy to put this thing together. Station extension. Oh, it's just. Adorable. Yes, it is. Wait a minute. Is there... Ah! Stop. I forgot to read the thingamajig. Uh, a probe core RCS control for docking can use... Da, 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 small. More docking connections as arms and for ring construction. Ah, cool. Universal hub and escape pod. Did I read anything? What the... Fart? That's interesting. Okay, so two escape pods. I guess they attach to the sides here. Anything? Nope. No description. Alright, moving on. Uh, we're getting to the last ones here. Veos comms pod. Oh! Wow, that's a lot of RCS thrusters. We'll probably get rid of these in order to lower part count because we don't need them. We have tow vehicles up there. Communication pod. Tested it. Can't fit into the SSRT's cargo. It has its own RCS and control. Tug not required. However, tug will be required because we're trying to lower part count. Crew hab module. Did I already get... No? Wait a minute. This looks very familiar. Have I already gone through this? I can't remember. Interesting. Anything? Crew cabin for the subscriber SS. Uh, capacity 12 Kerbals, docking ports. Light action, lights, custom action, click it, can I click it? All right, going down. Yep, there's more. So solar panels, service bay, fuel converter. Oh, so it's a little converter in there too. Probably do this. We'll probably take these solar panels off since the station already has power. And Veo's hangar. I, I do believe that this one is from Enter. Okay, <clears throat> hold on, I, got, I, gotta, I gotta talk like Enter, right? Like Enter's inner child, hold on. File comes with complementary docking port size adapter, but I think it should be mated to the SS by its native senior docking port. Light color and decorative parts are at your discretion to alter. LPC equals low part count variant. Yeah, that's exactly how he sounds. Reminds me of a doctor's office, but you know what? I kinda like it. I can like put tow vehicles in there and stuff. I think that's it. Hey, we've gotten through all of them. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! <laughs> but uh, if you uh, if you did not see your uh, creation here on this video, uh, try to give me the link through the YouTube messaging system that I showed you earlier on how to do that. If you don't know, real quick, just go on to my Facebook. Uh, not Facebook. Bleh, just go on to my YouTube channel page, the main page. Click the about button, and then it should say send message Send message on the right hand corner, and I'll try to get to that as, po as soon as possible. Remember, Dropbox is a little iffy for me for some reason. I can download files from Dropbox for some people, and then for others, it just it won't let me download your stuff unless I join their army of the undead. So, moving on, remember to send me one craft, okay? One craft, not ten. Not ten, you know who you are. The person with the ten freaking craft files. Goodness gracious me. Yeah, just one. Make it a special one. Try to keep it under 40 parts. Try to keep it under 40 parts. Make sure that it fits inside the cargo bay, okay? We got uh, uh, nothing colliding in with one another. If you're going to give me a... If you're going to give me a part... If you're going to give me a part or uh, craft file that has a whole bunch of stuff inside that I need to take apart and assemble... Make sure those aren't touching each other. So we don't want to invite the Kraken, okay? We don't want to have problems or issues trying to undock this thing. You know, it exploding or falling apart or pushing the craft away or something of that nature. Don't want any of that. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be it for today. I'm sorry we, didn't have, we weren't able to put anything up there right now. But this is how many craft files we have. You know which ones are yours. So if you want to update it, okay, if you want to update your craft file, you may update it. Like I said, try to tr try to message me on YouTube rather than Facebook and Twitter, okay? Try to message me on YouTube rather than Facebook and Twitter. All I need is a link. It doesn't matter 
who you use, it doesn't matter where your craft file is, all I need is a link to download it. And as I said before, Dropbox is giving me some problems, some issues. Some of you it works, some of you it doesn't work for me. So if you use Dropbox, just be aware that it might work, it might not work. I don't know why or what the issue is or why some of you, why I can download some of your crafts and then from, from, from those of you that use Dropbox and for some reason some of other people's crafts from Dropbox, I can't download it unless I join their, their legion. So... I think that's it. Park out, try to keep it under 40, make sure it fits in the cargo bay, message me the link on YouTube, since I seem to be getting better luck with that. Twitter and Facebook are, are uh, difficult sometimes, and then we'll tr we will try to finish this up this week. I'm going to work really hard to try to get as many of these up here this week. If I have to, I will build another space station if it starts getting laggy, okay? We're gonna try to finish this up. We're gonna wrap this up. And I really like this hammering, and I'm so sorry I won't be able to put it up there since it's a lot of launches and a lot of work. And I just simply do not have the time for that. But uh, whoever sent me this, go ahead and send me something else. Remember, I'm I'm taking updates right now. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Um, after we're done with the subscriber space station, I am probably going to start playing uh, other games such as... Oxygen not included. It's it's kind of a big thing right now. A lot of people like it, and I've seen people play it, and it actually looks kind of awesome. A little cute little people running around suffocating to death. Anyway. I am Veus, and I will catch you all in the next video. Signing off.